Well, I know one thing for sure. I know for a fact I'm not gonna miss Illinois. <laughs> it's pissing down snow right now. It's not even December yet. The snow should not be here. And uh, we're, uh, we're sending off on a good note. Fished here for a few days, got some, some packing done, some editing done. But now it's time to embark on quite possibly one of the most anticipated trips of the year. Here in just a few hours, we are going to be in an entirely different biome. We're leaving the snow and we are headed to the tropics of the Amazon rainforest. This is Brian. Hey, Brian's the dude with the camera. Okay, so just a quick little hop skip from Chicago to now Miami. Here we're only gonna be only gonna be here for what 10 minutes and then we board the plane and then head to Manaus and that's where we'll be staying overnight. So usually I start the morning off by saying, well we got some good rest and now we're gonna fly out to Barcelona, but I didn't sleep a wink, and apparently our flight got pushed forward, so we have to leave right now. There goes the elevator. Okay, I gotta click that again. I'm also, get this, I'm also uploading a video right now, so while I'm gone, you guys have some content to watch. Um, it's just, it's hectic. It's really, really hectic. It's 4 a.m. right now. I don't know, I've never heard of a flight getting pushed forward, but we're running behind the schedule. Originally, we were supposed to leave here at 5.30, and uh, I'm seven minutes late. Welcome to Brazil, I suppose. Oh man. Lift your head here, buddy. Right now, for being in the middle of nowhere, it's amazing how many people are out here fishing. Just people with rod cases everywhere. And this is totally the worst part of the morning. Everyone got one hour of sleep last night, like six in the morning, and all kind of just hurrying up and waiting now. Year number two, where, our, where I'm not bringing rods to the Amazon. It's just. Not gonna have. We gotta go. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not bringing our rods. They're, they don't fit. Unless we've got a, a 5.11 or a 4.2, you're not fishing the Amazon with your rods. No rods. No sleep. We're at our gate now, waiting to get on this plane to Barcelona. Uh, or Barcelos. Why did I say Barcelona? It's a cross between Barcelona and Barcelos. Barcelos. And uh, yeah, I don't know really what the what the plan is. We got no rods. So hopefully there's some sticks on the boat. There was last year, so I'm not super worried. So it begins. We're on the plane now. We've got about an hour and a half flight to Barcelos, and then once we touch down there, we're gonna get picked up and get right to it, get to the boat, and begin the trek. About this time last year, I was in this very spot, not knowing what to really expect, and I still don't really know what to expect. The Amazon is just full of surprises. I keep going into this video series thinking, you know, like I've done this before. I, I like I have a, an inclination as to what's going to happen, but I feel like I'm going to be very surprised. Welcome to the Amazon, where they have cheese on a stick and also salami on a stick. Man, my blood pressure just dropped. We just got on the boat. This is the Kalua 2.0. Last year we were on the original Kalua. It's a much smaller boat. So freaking chill and peaceful. I was stressing up until this point, but now that we're on the water, and we are on the Amazon River, I couldn't be any more happier. Yeah, did I mention there's meat on a stick? Mmm. That was so good. Arab Pime is on the menu today. Good. Farm, farm raised, probably, hopefully. 
otherwise if you come up river now everybody's coming here everybody's heading here so they're going far up yeah so no that's that's where they're going to talk right they're going to talk about this if they're going to go up or they're going to stay closer to barcelos right so anyhow fish is really good in this region right here right, here. right? so we're going to fish the negro and some affluence yeah. we have around here one thing you do before you fish with any lures in the amazon is you change out your hooks otherwise the peacocks will just do it for you Got a fish to do. Damn time. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. Ominous. <laughs> what a Say start. action. As soon as I got the boat. Say action. That's what I'm saying. Exclamation. That's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in action. Scott, you ready to get your butt handed to you? Yeah, apparently I'm already, you know, Okay. So in case you guys are wondering, water is wet. We just got dumped on by an absolute I was Amazon looking. beauty. And uh, we're out in the water with Scott, with Brian, and also Louis is on the boat. We haven't seen Louis in a year. He was guiding us <laughs> for the Arapaima mission and, uh, and also with some peacocks too. But he's back on the scene in this small little group. And we're going to see if we can crank some spook, right? Yeah. With Scott's turn? Yeah. Had one blow up on the spook and he didn't eat. Yeah, I watched that happen. That was cool. And then I proceeded to just vomit into the tree. <laughs> we have a little bit of a battle right now. We're doing a what? First fish. First fish. Biggest fish. Biggest and smallest. And getting the smallest, you lose. So you don't want the smallest fish. Yeah. And what happens? What happens if uh, you lose on all of those? So let's, <laughs> let, let's just go over the, the the wager, the punishment. It's a three shot challenge. There's not there's not much in the Amazon you really want or need. Like money's no good in the Amazon. We already got a bunch of lures. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna wager shots. If uh, <laughs> if you get the smallest fish, you gotta take a shot. If you don't catch the biggest fish, you get to take a shot. And if you don't catch the first fish, you also get a shot. That's why there's only three wagers. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, this would be the most drunken Amazon mission ever. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to it. <laughs> oh, he that had it. Unreal. He had it. He had it. <laughs> he is small, bro. Ah! Eat it, dude. What a what an uncoordinated <laughs> fish. <laughs> How many times can he miss? I don't know. We're about to find out though. No! Oh, yes. No! No! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> yes, you baby! Know, that rod is so soft. Yes. That rod is almost too soft. That is so freaking funny, dude. Oh my god. It's like a nine pounder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, look like a freaking crappie ate your popper. Louis, Louis. Yeah, Louis saying you guys suck. We're gonna go to an easier spot. <laughs> Two bites in this spot. Wow. I would expect a little bit more. We're man, I thought I, our casts were good. Maybe we're not filming. My execution it. was not so good. Yeah. Too. Wow. That was painful to watch you try to set hook on this fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're rounding up. Next zone. Spot number two, Louis taking us to a sweet little lagoon. Just took this tiny little passageway to this area where it opens up and these kind of areas can hold some pretty big fish. Like you'll have like one or two big ones that like will be the whole king of the whole lagoon. Uh, I wouldn't know though because my biggest is only 10 pounds, but hopefully we break that this trip. Oh! Oh, oh sh you all right? Good. Oh my god. We gotta we gotta move our spots. Oh here. my god, yeah, holy f dude, how'd that not hook you? Are you alright? I'm good. Oh my god. That was a miracle. <laughs> as soon as it f***ing caught, I was like, that's your head. Yeah. We're f***ing done for. What did it hit? Your hat? Bro, it hit everything fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait,
fish. Big, big fish, fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. You gotta tighten up that drag. Big fish. Dude, that was a, that's big a good fish. peacock. Big fish. Big fish. Oh my god. What a blow up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right as you put the camera down. Dude, he just went. Dude, he just went. That's big. That is a big one. Yep. That is a big one. I got a decent look at it. Oh my goodness, dude. He just smoked my drag. Like, smoked my drag. First fish. First fish. Oh, oh that's a tanker. <laughs> that is a tanker. Are you kidding me? He's huge. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's your biggest, dude. Yeah, uh, it might be, dude. I don't know how big this is. I, I forget, cool. honestly. That's, oh! That's 10, you, you reckon? Yeah. Oh my god. It's like a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Louie! Yeah, buddy! Buddy! <laughs> <laughs> that is unreal. I'm saying 12. How big? Is it, oh, is it wait? How many pounds? No. Ten. 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 Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a ten. That's the. This is kind of where I left off. My biggest last trip was a ten pounder, and my first fish of the trip is a ten pounder. I'll be honest. He looks Whoa. Bigger. He does look bigger. He's a bit skinny. Look at that right huge, on the huge surf. head. Huge head. Oh my goodness! Look at the size of this thing. Let's get this boca off. Thank you, Louis. You oh man! <laughs> Check out that peacock bass. Well, do I even need to say it? Welcome to the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> Big, giant peacocks. It's probably my biggest one just by a few ounces. And it's the first fish of the trip. I am like stunned right now. That was such a big bite. It was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're such awesome fish, man. To think that they can get uh, almost three times the size. They can get up to like 25, 28 pounds. It's just unfathomable. That was an insane fight. Let's get him back in the water. <laughs> Gonna send our big P back. What a majestic first catch of the trip. How about that? <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Not even like, I couldn't even do anything great, so it was just like, boom. Louie. <laughs> yes, buddy, we did it. Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's get some more. Is that not the strongest? That was the strongest. It was like this one. <laughs> That's really what we're out here for. The big peacocks are always nice to catch. That's a good one. Oh. That's oh. a good one. All right. That's a good one. Here's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good peacock. Dude, that looks good. Yeah, well, it freaking hammered it like a freight train. I have hammered it, though. Holy smokes, he hammered. Good fish, man. Look at that. <sighs> there she goes. That's a, that's a rush. Those fish will send you into cardiac arrest. The way they hit it like that, it's just like boom, you're just freaking holding on. It's incredible to think they're freshwater too. Pretty, this guy is. Nice little popoka. Rainbow fish. <laughs> After you go there, if you can get We made it home, successful day out in the rainforest. That was so much fun. I've forgotten how fun and powerful these fish can really be. Uh, it's like pretty undescribable. There's no fish I can really compare them to. I can't think of a single fish that I can use to give you an idea as to how these peacocks fight. You just have to go here. You just, have to, you just you really have to just come here and experience it for yourself. We're back in the Kahlua. I just remembered that we waged a little bit of a bet at the beginning. I think this might've been Scott's idea, matter of fact. He said that uh, we're gonna do like, so we don't like, you know, we're, we're not gonna do any money challenges or anything like that. And you can't get too dangerous out here in the Amazon. Scott said, that's pretty cool. Those bats? Those are all parrots. They're all parrots. Yeah. Wow. Hard to be parrot interruption. Um, what was the bet? Oh, so basically, yeah, so this is how the, <laughs> this is how the challenge worked. 
Smallest fish has to take a shot. Biggest fish doesn't have to take a shot. I happen to catch the biggest fish. You have to catch the smallest fish. You got, you got a jacunda that was that big. It's a cool fish, but it's the smallest one. And then person who catches the first fish does not have to take a shot. And the other person has to take a shot. I think I did a terrible job of explaining that, but basically Scott has to take three shots. Oh, and three. I'm scot free. Yeah. So scot free, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go knock that out. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Let's go. First first and foremost, drink responsibly. Mm. Yep. First and foremost, drink responsibly. Second of all, the liquor of choice today is fifty one. Apparently. So you could you put this in your car, drive it with it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically ethanol. So he's got three of those and uh some chasing some plantains. I domed Scott. Give it, give it quick. Yeah, Dave, pour yourself one right now. Holy moly! I domed him in the head with a uh, popper, so I'm also going to take a shot. Also, we're here in the Amazon, so I gotta celebrate. Make it here safe it's and sound. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Skull. It's like my face. <laughs> it's gonna be your face after those two shots. Okay, here we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what is in here, but it smells good. All right, that's good. Are you gonna like, how are you gonna do this? Like boom, 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 or are you gonna take your time? I'm gonna time? do one, bam, one, bam. Okay. I, do, I don't know, if they're absurd, yeah. I'm gonna struggle a little bit. Okay, right? Cheers. Cheers, bro. To the Amazonas. Yep. Yeah, that's all it cracked up to be. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Yeah, oh. plantain. Yeah. Okay, the rest is all you. Oh. <laughs> Two more and those are gonna suck. Anything you wanna to say to the audience before we sign out and you sign out indefinitely? <laughs> the night. Don't, uh, don't, the, don't make stupid bets, basically. Yeah, don't, this don't, is your don't, idea. don't challenge John to a drinking game. Because <laughs> I lost. Alright, number two. Alright, hopefully, 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 hopefully next time this goes a little better. This is the biggest shot, too, so here we go. That's like all the remnants of the other one. Oh, it's down. Brian's just wincing. Oh. Rough. Really rough. One more plantain chip. <laughs> I think that's going to sum it up. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. This was fun. Huge shout out to Scott for being a good sport. Huge shout out to Brian. Huge shout out to our guide, Louie. And huge shout out to the folks over at uh, Kahlua for letting us fish on their rig. Catch some peas, some pee peas. Tomorrow's a new day. And uh, we're gonna wake up bright and early and get after it. Thanks for watching. As always, keep peacocking, never stop. Now it's some time to embark on quite possibly one of the most anticipated trips of the year. Welcome to the Amazon rainforest. We are on the Kalua right now, slowly making our way up the Amazon River in search for undoubtedly one of my favorite freshwater fish species on Earth. This is where the journey kind of really starts to begin. those trips where it's like I could do with no sleep I could do with the aches and pains of traveling as long as it means that we're gonna be out here fishing in the most epic place on planet Earth.